In this video, I'm going to describe another DIY or do-it-yourself portable solar project. This is actually a uh, kit that I put together. Um, if you've done any research on YouTube lately, uh, you, you'll have seen there's another uh, channel. There's a guy named Solar Burrito uh, on YouTube that may, he gave me the uh, inspiration to make a kit like this uh, using a, basically a Plano uh, is the company name pistol case. Uh, it's not waterproof, but it's just one of the plastic cases that you can, uh, it has the handle you can see, and then I, you just modify it to basically build your own portable solar generator. So I was going to take a quick spin around it real quick and just show you uh, some of the things that I put on it, and I'll do a little bit closer up video uh, just uh, detailing everything that I've done. Back up here a little bit and you'll notice if you've seen my channel that I've, this is the uh, portable solar panel that I made that, that I use the PVC tubing for cost you 10 bucks to make this you know that's on the high end you, know, um, you should be able to make this for less than ten dollars minus the solar panel obviously so let's get into the um, solar generator so what I've done here I'll start from this side I've had some comments on some previous videos where uh, people have asked about uh, this connector here. Um, I have seen it called an SAE connector. It basically is just the two prong connector and it meets up to, move this grass up here, meets up to obviously the opposite of that. So you've got your negative and positive there. And then I'll come over here real quick because this is pretty self-explanatory, but I've got a, a single 12 volt plug. And I think, um, and then what I ended up doing was um, an interesting story. Uh, I recently was out on a camping trip and I was try I took the generator with me and I tried plugging my uh, inverter to run my, the power, the, the electricity for a pump for my air mattress and I tried plugging it into the cigarette lighter and I kept tripping the reset inside the uh, inside the pump uh, inverter to, to power the uh, 120 volt uh, pump for my air filter uh, I'm sorry for my air pump so what I ended up having to do was kind of disassemble the whole box and hook the alligator leads right to the battery so that led me to think what I really need to do is make some terminals and I had seen these on some other YouTube videos as well, people who had solar generators. And I'm not completely 100% done with this. It's kind of more just still prototyping. Um, but I, and I'll take it apart and show you later. But basically I made these so that these come off. And then these are your positive and your negative. And these are 10 gauge wires hooked right up to the battery itself there's not even a fuse because most everything i'm going to hook to it will have its own fuse so that would give me basically uh just like connecting to the battery itself but i don't have to tear the whole thing apart to get to it and i'll show you what i mean uh, a little bit later but these just screw right back on and what i plan on doing is uh, putting some uh, paint or something mark one red one green and put some paint here so that something were to lay across these, it wouldn't short out. But these just, just screw back on. These were some knobs that I just got off Amazon and I, I wanted something a little larger to really be able to handle some amperage without having any problems. So that's like a 5 16th and these are uh, all stainless steel but I only, need, only bought two so they weren't that expensive I think I spent like five bucks on on the, all the hardware for that and I think the knobs may have cost me five bucks too so what I did was just like solar burritos he uh, I like the fact that he's got a switch on the outside just lights up when you turn it on and then it's off when it's off and then you open this, open the top, just like you would a pistol case. And then basically, what I did was, this is just a, a real thin piece of wood that I got from Lowe's or somewhere. And just kind of painted it green so it would blend in a little bit. I've got the solar charge controller there. Uh, and then, 
I uh, put a voltmeter in. So then it would tell you, for the most part, when you want to see how much voltage you have. Um, it doesn't work unless this is on. So this is basically the master power. You, if, if this switch is off, the whole thing is off. Turn that on. And then whenever you need to take a quick look, you can just turn that on. You can see the voltage and turn it back off again. So then I'll plug the, and then it's real nice because then I can just plug the uh, solar panel in and even this late in the day and it's but almost 6 30 in the evening i'm still getting a little bit of a charge from the solar panel which is kind of nice and that's basically it you know uh what i did was to make a servicing kind of easy i just put in uh, you'll see here in a second just like how solar burrito did his back there you basically have a uh, I ran some bolts through and I just got some uh, aluminum and drilled some holes as a tie as a basically to hold the battery in place and those just come up through the bottom of the case uh, and this happens to be a uh, 12 volt it's upside down sorry everybody but it's a 12 volt 18 amp battery that just ties down like that. You know, I've, I've got a fuse in there protecting the, um, uh, oh, let me show you from the bottom of the wood, just so we can, I, I use a uh, terminal bus. To basically, I just uh, sp split this in half. So this is the negative. I've got all my positives over here and it's split in the middle so they won't touch. So I don't have to use two of those buses. I just got one big enough to do positive and negative and you just, you just cut that bar and it makes just the positive stay together, the negative stay together. And then that's just the, the bottom of the uh, voltage meter. And I basically uh, you know, had to wire it in so that I can check the voltage on the battery anytime. Uh, on the back side, you'll see the, you know, your cigarette lighter and these are the what you saw from the front and then that's just where the uh, the terminal comes in for the uh, solar panel and then that's your um and it's kind of nice because when you order these switches it'll tell you what diameter you need to cut the holes uh this one was a little rough um i was in a hurry and i, I should have taken my time a little bit more this this twists a little bit but uh, as i said it's, it's kind of just uh a prototype here and you know I'm not a manufacturer so it's not gonna look like something I bought from a store but when you put it all together you know hopefully it's robust enough to uh, to withstand a camping trip or something like that put these back on. as I said it's all uh, I'm getting power into the charge controller because of the panel being plugged in, but you can notice that the voltage meter is not on. Uh, once you flip the switch, you get your voltage. And that's basically it. Just close this back up. Turn that on. Pretty nice. Uh, that's just showing you from the bottom. You know the the bolts that are tying the battery down. That is it. My the latest project that I've built for a uh, very portable solar generator. So I hope you enjoyed my video on my portable solar generator. Uh, please, as always, continue to subscribe. My channel just reached over 175 subscribers. I am just thrilled to death for that. Uh, please keep the wonderful comments coming. Uh, please give me a thumbs up when you like the video. Um, if you don't like the video, sometimes you can just let me know constructively what you didn't like about the video, and uh, I'll try and fix that in the future. Please subscribe to my channel, and uh, I will keep coming with videos as quick as I can. Thanks. Bye.